Hey everybody, it's uh, been a while since I made a video. Um, a really long time. Um, reason for that is that I um, haven't bought vinyl and um, haven't really looked at vinyl for quite some time now. And um, you know, I for a for the time I, w I wasn't here and um, I didn't make videos, I was here obviously. Um, for the time I didn't make any videos, um, I was expanding my other collection, which I showed you before, which are like DVDs and Blu-rays, and um, you know somehow that that uh, hobby and that collection just um, sparked my interest more at the time and. Um, well, last Saturday was Record Store Day, and uh, I decided to, um, you know, take a quick look at the exclusives that were released. You know, bring a visit to my um, my record store, basically. <laughs> you know, the record store I usually visit, and uh, yeah, it really sparked my interest and um, for final again. And uh, you know, I really <laughs> knew what I missed again, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's not to say that I didn't listen to any final in, in the, the, the the time that um, uh, that I didn't buy anything or I, I listened to my records regularly and um, really enjoy them. But you know, I just didn't have the urge to go out and buy and uh, um, you know, like I said, expanded my 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 movie collection a little more and. But yeah, I'm back. I wanted to say a quick hello, and what better way to say hello than uh, you know, show show you my new finds and then my new records. Oh yeah, one other thing, I got glasses. You know, <laughs> what can you do about it? Um. So yeah, I'll I'll start off with uh, the things I got on records today, and uh, I went out today and got some more records, so I'm uh, back on track. <laughs> um, but I'll, like I said, I'll start with the. Um, uh, direct sort of releases I got. So first one I got is the um, the Feist Dawn 7 inch. You know the collaboration between uh, Feist and Mastodon, uh, both doing a cover of each other's songs. Uh, which basically Mastodon doing a commotion and Feist doing Black Tongue. Um, I haven't heard of Feist before, so um, uh, you know Mastodon doing cover. Yeah, that's that's really good, but um, I don't know. What the original song sounds like, and I haven't looked it up on YouTube yet. I'm gonna do that. But the cover of uh, that Vice did of Black Tongue is pretty interesting <laughs> to say the least. Um, not something I really expected, but uh, really, really cool. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I picked this one up. So um, it's really good. Also got um, Bruce Springsteen's Rocky Ground, seven inch. With the B side being uh, the promise, uh, live from the carousel, Asbury Park. Um, my interest for Bruce Springsteen has really sparked. In, uh, see, basically, uh, be, like right before he released his his new album, Wrecking Ball, which I still need to get. Um, I've listened to it, I've digitally, but I still want it on vinyl. But. Um, but that also has to do with the fact that um, at the end of May I'm going to a, a, a large festival here in the Netherlands, Pink Pop. And um, he's basically the headliner along with The, the Cure and Linkin Park, I believe. Um, yeah, and I really can't wait to see him. I'm, I'm really start starting to dig into his music and um, I really start to enjoy it. And uh, so yeah, I decided to pick this one up and uh, it's really cool. Uh, then I got this one. This is more like a um, uh, Dutch and uh, Belgian um, exclusive. I don't think anyone in the United States probably have heard of this, but this is Trigger Finger, and that's a really sexy job. This is a 10 inch um, of them doing a, a cover of the Rod Stewart classic Do You Think I'm Sexy? Um, yeah, Trigger Finger is like. Um, yeah, pretty cool hard rock Belgian band, and uh, they're really starting to break through in the Netherlands here right now. Um, which partially has to do with a cover they did um, of a song by Licky D, I Follow Rivers, 
I don't know if that's a, a hit anyone heard on the radio, but um, I really recommend you searching that on YouTube. You know, it's Trigger Finger uh, I Follow Rivers, and it's a really cool acoustic little cover, and that's the uh, second song on the A side, and uh, the B side is Jimi Hendrix, apparently. I haven't listened to that yet, actually. Uh, I don't think that's any special color or something. No, that's black. Um, yeah, really cool, and um, I'm yeah, pretty happy I got that. Um, then I also got, well, let's stick to the 7 and 10 inches for now. Um, this was something that was uh, released exclusively in the Netherlands. Um, I got this for free with uh, anyone purchasing something on Record Store Day, like this. Um, this year it's a promo copy and it's uh, a Dutch artist called Spinfish doing an exclusive song called uh, Bay Country, which is basically called B-Side. It's really cool, you know, the um, like what you would call the regular front is just blank. And this is the B-Side, this is basically the cover. And um, when you take it out, like, um, this would be the A side, but that's just, I don't know if you can see it, but that's completely blank. And then the B side is basically just the, the 7 inch. I haven't listened to it yet, so I don't know what it's like. Uh, Spinfish, yeah, you make some interesting touch music and uh, pretty experimental, really pretty interesting lyrics. And uh, I'm, I'm curious about it, but I'm, I'm yet to listen to it. And then, um, this was basically the reason uh, I went to Record Store Day, uh, or to my Record Store on Record Store Day, because I really wanted this, and surprisingly enough, they really had a lot of these, but um, this is uh, Stephen Wilson, of famous of Port Country, um, and this is called Catalog Preserve a Mass. He did a... Um, and I think he's still touring, touring at the moment, but he did a, a tour in uh, at the end of 2011, European tour, um, as part of his uh, uh, the release of his, his second album, Grace for uh, No, I don't, was it Grace for Drowning? I don't I can't remember. <laughs> was it called Grace for Drowning? Let, let me look that up real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, Grace for Drowning. <laughs> um, and it's basically uh, a um, uh, four song EP recorded live on this tour. I went to see him here in Amsterdam on that tour, and um, to this day, that is still the best concert I've ever seen. And um, if you can manage to pick a copy of this up and you're interested in progressive rock and uh, jazzy stuff and uh, really experimental stuff. Do pick this up because this is really fantastic. Sound and quality is amazing for for live recordings. Um, yeah, it's nothing too fancy. Just basically, and it's black vinyl. Yes. Um, well, it's uh, it's recorded and it's mixed by Stephen Wilson himself, um, who also made some uh, interesting remaster of, uh, of uh, you know famous King Crimson records basically and uh, yeah really awesome really glad I got one of these and somehow I managed to pick up um, this one and this was was pretty expensive but I'm uh, actually glad I really I got it it was 55 euros which is a lot of money for for a record but um, it was an uh, exclusive pressing for Record Store Day, I believe, and it's uh, the Black Keys' El Camino, their latest album. Um, now the funny thing is, this is pressed at Palace in Germany on um, two times 180 grams vinyl, uh, 45 RPM, and the quality is amazing. Um, Mixed by Danger Mouse, I believe. Uh, produced by Danger Mouse, I'm sorry, and the Black Keys. Um, and besides the records, it also features a enormous poster. 
and a really cool 7 inch which on one side features Moneymaker and the other side is Sister which are live recordings um, yeah it's a lot of money but I think it's really worth it and uh, I really enjoy this album it's not their strongest album yet but you know I, I like it and uh, yeah, glad I had the chance to pick this up. So um, that was an expensive one. <laughs> then I went to the record store again today, and um, you know, just to look around and uh, browse a little. Because um, I don't know how it is in America or, or everywhere in the world actually, but um, basically at the record store I usually go to one record store day. It's like you're lining up at uh, you know, 9, 9.15 and the store opens at 10 and it's all cool and uh, there's, a, there's a big line uh, basically just for exclusive so you don't really have the chance to browse the, the regular uh, collection they have, you know, so I thought well, you know, took an hour off of work and uh, went to, to do some uh, some browsing there and uh, really picked up some, some cool stuff um, i start off with this one, which is um, the Blood Red Shoes in time, two voices, uh, which is what I have on at the moment. Um, already had a digital copy of this record, and I really, really like it. Uh, so I decided to pick it up on vinyl, and uh, you know, nothing too fancy, just a uh, single LP. I'm not even capable, but that was capable. So basically, uh, they're a, uh, I believe, British duo. Um, little alternative indie rock and um, uh, got interested in them because they're also playing the, the festival you know, to Big Pop and uh, decided to download this album and it's, it's really fantastic, really cool. And then I got this one. This is Alabama Shakes, uh, Boys and Girls. I don't know if you can see that from the the artwork's really cool, yeah. Uh, you can see that all the lines in there are really cool. Um, this is the debut album by Alabama Shakes. Uh, basically, uh, they're a four piece band making like a mix of southern rock and soul and uh, pretty interesting music. And um, uh, they uh, had a hit on the radio here. Well, a hit, you know, basically, it was like. Uh, a DJ selection of this. This is the song of the week right now, and uh, which was, which is uh, hold on. Uh, look it up on YouTube. It's it's really cool, and um, I really like this record. I just listened to it. Just finished listening to it. I think it's fantastic, and if you're into that kind of music, you know, a little raw, raw, southern rock, and a uh, little soulful. It's really cool. Uh, also came with a. Um, 7 inch, oh, oh, 7 inch, uh, uh, mp3 download and a 7 inch. It does come with 7 inch, which features 3 bonus tracks. Really cool. I love it when, when bands put in stuff like this in, into their records. Put that back. Oh. There we go. Um, so, yeah, really, uh, really glad I got this. Uh, I basically just, you know, I like that song they played on the radio, hold on, and uh, that basically made me decide to buy the whole album, and uh, not disappointed, really cool. Uh, then I got this one, this was basically a record I really needed to add to my collection, it's a classic, classic solo album, it's a Marvin Gaze, What's Going On, and I really couldn't find a decent copy for um, a decent price basically. All the copies I've seen are like uh, either special editions for ridiculous amounts of money. Uh, I wouldn't want to spend on this record. And, you know, it's a great record, it's a classic, but um, I'm not spending 50 bucks on this record. And uh, I just found this one. This was uh, 11 euros. I don't know if it's an or it's probably not an original and maybe it's even a bootleg. I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet, so I don't know what the quality is. But um, yeah, I was willing to spend eleven bucks on, on uh, eleven euros on this. Uh, you know, 
it's it's a classic and uh, if I if, if it's it's a, if it's a bad copy uh, I'll pick up uh, another one if I find one at a decent price you know so it's it's released by Tamler Records and the reason I does because I I don't know whether it should be like this or it's all a little faded, you know, the text is a little faded and so I don't know and it's a gate for which features like pictures and stuff and it looks like a decent copy and it was it was new, it was sealed. But um yeah like I said I still need to listen to it so don't know what it sounds like or how the quality is. So Morphin Cage. Um, then two records I um, one record I actually went to the record store for, and one I found while searching for this record, and one I've been looking for for quite a while. Um, I think um, the album is great, and um, if you're a metal lover, you probably really like this record. <laughs> you know, it's pretty dark, and uh, but it's a really cool album. I, I'll show it to you. It's Ghost, and the title is ridiculously hard to pronounce for me, at least. It's called Opus Eponymous, I think. Um, anyway, really, really cool record, and this is the. Um, Rise Above release. It's on. Um, it's it's a gateful. Really cool. And uh, it's on a really really cool, like see through, almost, um, red vinyl. Um, I really love uh, Rise Above Records, you know, they really make uh, great pressings of um, you know, great album. The Electric Wizard uh, releases, I believe, they're also from Rise Above Records and they're fantastic. I haven't listened to this yet, I know what what the album is like and I know it's a great album, so, um, you know, can't wait to put this on my record player, but really cool. And then finally the album. I hope they have. It, it says so on the website, but I don't know if you've seen any of my previous videos, but that all isn't always a uh, reassurance they have it. Um, it's um, Earth, Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light Part 2. Uh, the first one was Fantastic! One of the best albums of uh, last year, and uh, saw them in concert. Uh, was blown away by their performance. Really enjoyed their show, and um, I actually haven't listened to this yet. So this, I just got it. Uh, I still need to listen to it, and I haven't heard it before. So I'm really curious what it sounds like. But um, I got uh, the exclusive. I believe. I don't know. It's really dance. It's a wonderful. Um, edition of 1000 on purple 180 grams double final with special etching. This is the purple version, apparently only 1000 pressed, um, which I really love for exclusive stuff like that. Let me just take one out with the etching. Um, so, you know, purple, obviously, and then. You have to side with the uh, really cool engine. You see that. Just in my trouble aiming. <laughs> I need to do everything in mirror, so it's like, uh, which way do I go now? Um, it's supposed to go like this. Careful. And there we go. Yeah, really cool. Uh, the Angels of Demons, uh, Angels of Darkness, Demons of Light, Volume One, also has the etching on it, but that's a black version, so it's not really a clear etching. Uh, but um, yeah, this one is, and it's really, really cool. 
Why won't you go in? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I got this, and uh, it's really cool. And something that really caught my attention is the quote on the inside, uh, which is right here. I'm not gonna pronounce it, but the translation is basically be not afraid of the universe, and that's. <laughs> I read that and I think, thought, wow, that's a really, really cool quote. Maybe something I'm. I might put put in a um, in a tattoo or something. Maybe one day. I don't know. It's really cool. Um, okay, I'm really gonna do this later. I'll also damage it. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I got that one as well. And um, you know, another addition to my Earth collection. One I'm really, really, really. Um, I think my record just finished, so I'm going to put this on right now and uh, enjoy it, hopefully. So, um, I'm going to thank you for watching, um, and uh, I'm really glad I'm back, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video, and maybe do some video response to threats, I don't know. Uh, I haven't checked the, the community in a while also, so I'm really sorry about that, but um gonna check that out, maybe answer some questions, maybe do answer some threads and uh, you know, I'm back and I'm glad I am. So again, thanks for watching.